Thank you. Hmm. Are you comfortable with it here? No. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> let me show you something real quick. Just let me show you. Watch, watch. Look, you're, look, look. Look how exciting that is. Your mind. It doesn't excite you. But I'm going to need it anyway. I'll hold it. Yeah, that works. That's a good one. A lot can be said for how someone does the straw. Board games are fun with children. And even then, it's like, I'm only doing this to put in some time with the kid. Ah, oh, I wish I had an hors d'oeuvre or something. I'm starving. Look how skinny you are. Good for you. Rah, you're so strong. <laughs> you know what? I've always taken for granted that I was skinny, though, because I was always just skinny, so I'd never had to worry about shit. But now I, you know, my metabolism is slowing down, and I've been binge eating because <sighs> it's all like all mental issues. <clears throat> so I binge eat now at night like a real fat girl. Scoot doo. Blabbity blue. Scoot dee. Oh, yeah. Oh, be nice. Okay. You're on camera. Okay. Well. <laughs> you like a lot of cream in your coffee. It's almond milk. I don't do dairy. Okay. That's good. Thank I you. I have to stop doing um, any kind of dairy. Ice cream, really, the most. Ice cream's the most that I have to stop doing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What's your attitude today? You good? I'm in a good mood. Good. I'm excited like that yeah, you're yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I'm, I'm, I actually, I, I was, I woke up, yeah. and then I texted you right away, and I said, you want me to get us, some, you want some oh, coffee? the best. And I decided to drive there, even though it's down the block, because I don't want to get outside sweaty before this. Why before this? I want to be... Yeah, I have a guest. You want to be fresh? I need to be fresh. <laughs> I also um, was about to put on this shirt, but thought even though I'm driving, I'm mm -hmm. still going outside. I'll keep on my outside shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got yeah, the yeah. coffee, and as soon as I went outside, I'm so uh. excited for Thomas to get here. I'm so excited. It was like the coffee already entered my bloodstream because yes. I knew I was going to pick it up. Yes. And then I got this coffee for you. Mm -hmm. I asked, how, how big do you want? You said mm -hmm. the biggest one. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of coffee. This isn't even the biggest one. This is Venti. They have Trenta. Trenta's for animals. I have a confession. Yes. I saw there was a Trenta option. I, of course. It wasn't a money issue. I know. Obviously, it's not a money issue. It's a, a you have to be in control issue. It's a you know better issue. It's a, oh, he's not, this is need, I don't even deserve the Trenta probably. In here's, here's, here's my <laughs> thoughts on the Trenta. The only time I get someone a Trenta is when they specifically say Trenta. I said the biggest. You did. To me, the small, medium, and large. Extra large is a novelty. I didn't say, Rick, get me what the biggest is to you. Okay. I said, just get me the biggest. Okay. Everything is to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, as I know everyone that. else. I know, as course. everyone else. Well, you a little extra, a little more because you're, you know, because you have that little special thing happening. Okay. You know? <laughs> Thomas. Yeah. Welcome to the podcast. Thanks for having me the second time. Let's tell the people. The sure, truth. sure. Thank Let's you for taking. Let's tell the people the truth. So, Thomas was on a couple weeks ago, mm -hmm. and a couple days before, I texted you and I said, "Oh, let me start by." I saying, went back and looked at that text again when I left, same. just so you know, it and was I, so clear I, to you. Yeah. Because you have that special thing. <laughs> so I've discussed this with a few people, and I have to say, everyone agreed with my perspective but i also told them the story from my perspective of course you pro they agreed with your perspective you were probably hammering them down no with glassman you know what i want so badly uh -huh. to represent myself with as little ego as possible because that's what right. i've been working on i love that so i'm gonna tell the story from my point of view okay as a friend the 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 the, the least i ask from you mm-hmm Enjoy a story. I enjoy every story that comes out of you. I love your stories. You'll then tell me your perspective. Okay. Before we do that, though, be honest. Do I look like a monster? Like, am I, is my posture fine? Am I, I'm in the microphone? Am I sitting like a ghoul? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you look great. Okay, fine. Don't just say that. Like, really be there for me because we can't. Do you want to, do you want me to flip the, I was the screen love so you to, could see? You, yeah, yeah, because I just, I'll do that so you could see. Yeah, 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 just so I could see. <laughs> Oh my, all right, hold on. It's a real, like, uh, full angle there, Rick. I mean, as Jesus, I thought you were coming up from, like, the chest up. So I could crop Can it. Can you come? Yes. I like to go wide. And then you'll crop in it in case there's some fun, there's some fun. Oh, okay. But I'm not, I'm not guaranteeing a crop. 
See, the last... I, the I first- want a crop guaranteed. <laughs> well, well, the camera has started, my friend. You can... Oh, you can't... You can crop afterwards. I can, I'll, yeah. I'll, you know what? I'll put a little crop in. And you're looking for a flattering crop. A flattering crop and double Ds, honey. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah. Give me some tits. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if I knew how to do editing stuff, it would be fun to add that on there. I would love just a pair of Guidette Queens New York titties. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is exciting. Are you gay? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. You know what? I wanted to uh, go ahead. I was going to answer it in a. I, I, what would be the funniest reply to that? Because it's so like you know we you know you're better than that. But like you know it, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Yes. If I'm a professional baseball player, yeah, and I know how to hit major league fastballs out of the park. Mm-hmm. If I'm playing with a bunch of playground kids mm-hmm. and we're playing wiffle ball i'm not gonna take the chance to hit the grand slam with the wiffle ball yeah oh you would so take the grand slam that's what i'm saying yeah, listen yeah, yeah, yeah. i know it was an easy yeah, bet, yeah, yeah, but sometimes yeah. i look at you and yeah. i think how am i not in a multicam i've been saying it <laughs> right, for years right, right. well you know your wish might come true <laughs> oh basil so i want to tell the story yes i'll tell the home audience i text yeah. to thomas hey man you want to come do my podcast thomas says yes and I'm bringing truth with me. Mm-hmm. And I highlighted it and did the haha because what a funny way to tell me I'm going to tell it how it is. <laughs> okay. A couple days No, le- that's not the, that's not the text, asking, though. Is to ask to tell my story. But tell it the, the before I said I'm bringing truth. We were talking oh, about you, my you know dog. What, you're, you're, you're like Just my tell mom them who ruins st- stories. I don't. I don't know your dog's name. And also, you're burying the lead. There's an order to the story. I'm okay, getting that's hot. Fine. No, this that's happens fine. with that's you. That's fine. And I'll take that's my fine. responsibility. That's fine. If we're going to do a story for us, yes, give me a story for some, give it to me. If I, you want to talk about what we talked about before, we, I, I've, how far back do I go? Just tell the story the correct way is all I'm asking. If you're going to tell the story, you can make it funny and honest. You don't have to lie. Thomas. You're funny. You're, you're very good. Thomas, the way you're trying to manipulate this I'm not is trying putting to me into a it. dark place. <gasps> Ricky. And now I'm hot. Uh, you're not sweating, though. You don't look hot. No, I'm not like angry hot. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, oh, right. You're warm. This is the, you're this, getting fuzzy. This is what happens. Yes. <laughs> oh, I asked you up top, let me just tell the story the way I know it. Uh, because you have your, you think we were living in a world of Thomas and my dog. Yes. I don't know your dog's name. <laughs> Everyone knows about truth. I d- I Everyone d- knows about truth, that's, Rick. And that's the difference. What? I didn't know. Really? Of course. That's insane. Why? You I've haven't had, had private conversations about him with other people? <laughs> oh, you think I've had private conversations about your of dog course. that I've never met? Who I've never heard you discuss with me? I've first of all, I brought him around town, all over town when I first got him as a baby. Everyone was posting about him. Eshbet, <laughs> Eshbet. Everyone was posting about him. I was posting about him. Yes, I know that we've just come back together, but that doesn't mean that I was completely out of your life. Okay, so now I think I have the missing information. Yeah. You had the context of everybody knows my dog i've been walking around town with a dog meanwhile i haven't left my house in nine months nope. and i don't follow your friends okay so when you say i'm bringing truth over and you don't capitalize the t and you talk the way you talk i just think you're telling me how it is so when you got here with this this shedding machine that's <laughs> he does not that's, shed. by the way okay tell that to the lint roller that went through <laughs> five pages whom of which by the way apparently your dog's favorite treat is microphone <laughs> because it was gnawing on that microphone knocking over the camera and here's the thing it could have been a great time yeah i have my things yeah i was distracted I was unhappy, I was frustrated, <laughs> and my house was, I, sh- I, sh- I thought to myself, I should have got the earthquake insurance, <laughs> because this thing was tearing it apart, okay? He was in the curtains. He was chewing the curtains, let alone in them. I don't like when my friends come over and touch the curtains without washing your greasy little fingers, because come on, how often am I washing my curtains? Yeah, those are nice white curtains. Thank you. Cream. Thank you. Yeah. So, anyway. I thought it was... P- 
perfect shtick for us. It was great. I thought it was good shtick. I thought and we you were. Know what? Why don't we roll I a wanted clip. the element. <laughs> <laughs> No, truth be told, I very. I much, thought they were dogs. I, very, I love dogs. <laughs> I, I really do. Dogs. I just, I just, I have a hard time with people in my environment. Let alone I know animals. you do. I know. Hey, truth, truth. Yeah, tell him here, Rick. Truth. Stop. Hey, hey, cut it out, sweetie. He will see. It, see, you're like my grandma. You just say "see" <laughs> as if you proved a point. <laughs> and we're back. Yes. <laughs> Wasn't that great? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I, it, it, the element of him jumping on you and you having to come out of your comfort zone it's 2019 we're all coming out of our comfort zones rick <laughs> <laughs> you haven't heard i've heard yeah i follow i follow i understand your comfort zones have been coming out all around town yeah oh yeah <laughs> all right let me take a breath yes and let me reset with, you know what's gonna happen tell because me. you so much i already felt you cared it. so much about it being up here i'm gonna hit my hands into one of these one of your tchotchkes up here <laughs> <laughs> and the coffee is going to come falling down on the rug. And this is why we need the wide shots. I'm just saying that when I look up in there, it's disgusting. Thank God this isn't my dating profile. When you're looking up into the lens. When I'm looking into that little lens. Uh, I'm working on it. All right. This isn't how I look. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm, mm. All right. <laughs> yeah, kiss it. <laughs> Thomas, we're both wearing our Alaska shirt. Yes. Why do you think that is? Because this was a special time for us both in our friendship. Mm -hmm. In our friendship, this is where it all began. Mm -hmm. We were always were acquaintances. We would talk when we would see each other at comedy clubs. We genuinely dug each other. Mm -hmm. I believe. Oh, I, yeah. I don't. I wouldn't spend time with you if I didn't like you. When, yeah. Same with you. That's why I we, would spend a little time with you if I didn't like you. Yeah, right. F to pe like f to use my energy for whatever it is. Yeah. That you well, you just make me laugh so much that if I didn't like you, it's like. I don't know if I want him in my home, but I, uh, yeah, I got to be around right. him a little bit. I, 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 I like that. Thank you. Um, and then we went to Alaska together. It was like the best trip. A Anchorage University. Anchorage University. One show. One show, but felt like we were there for on our honeymoon so fun. for five days. It was you, me, and Rory <laughs> Scovel. But yes. you and I kind of... We had our own thing we going We literally on. climbed mountains. Yeah. We, we searched for we moose. We climbed mountains. We chased moose. We didn't search for them. You know, still, we chased them. Still, the even though we climbed a very large mountain in Alaska, the biggest mountain I've ever had to climb with you mm -hmm. was conversing and explaining the fact that when you don't capitalize the T in truth, and I've never been introduced <sighs> to your dog. You know what, Rick? The thing with that is, it why it's deeper than just me, than misunderstanding, is because... <laughs> I learned I learned that if there's ever a problem, all you have to do with somebody is go like this. I'm sorry. But that does, all that does is make all that does is you're right. That does it. What's, does it taste bad? No, I thought it, there was a little fur on it. Um, you can't do that to, with me though, because I'm not a normal person. I'm a homosexual. <laughs> if you kiss the microphone, I'm gonna get aroused. Are homosexuals not normal people? I think. No. The, I think actually, with I think the if, if, if the whole world were gay. Oh, be there's off. so much. Oh, I never said normal. Not normal was bad. Not normal to me is fucking awesome. But not normal gets hard off of someone kissing a microphone. I. It's funny how we <laughs> define and uh, uh, certain words. I've I consider myself weird, and uh -huh. I I think of that as a positive. I trait. love weird. I'm attracted yeah, to weird. I love weird. So to me, weird doesn't hold a stigma. Right. But some people, I've had yeah. conversations with. And they think they they're insulted by the term weird because they're stupid. And some people are insulted by the, <laughs> you say because they're stupid. Yeah, and some people are insulted by the word stupid too. Yeah. Here's the thing about words: words are stupid. They're dumb. They're they're so unevolved. So words, Italian. This oh, but this yeah. <laughs> so, it's, yeah or am I just you, a the yoga you master? Put your thumb to an index <laughs> finger. You have my attention. <laughs> I should have your attention when this mouth opens. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Look at me. Um, People are so, I don't want to say people are unevolved. Words are unevolved. Words are literally man-made. Like, literally man-made. So are people. No. Now they are. Physical, flesh is man-made. Yes, flesh mm. is man-made. Mm. <laughs> no, I hear you. Words are man-made. Yeah. If you're going to kiss that microphone, you better suck it. Okay, honey? Uh, 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 yeah. Put your whole mouth around it and stick it down your throat. See, this is an aggressive, aggressive joke you're making. Toward I'm not me. making a joke. 
I'm saying I'm calling. If you want to kiss it, then you better suck it. Yeah, you're telling me what to do in a way that I don't think makes for good podcasting. <laughs> Because now I feel obligated to play back in a game that I never no. signed up for. No. Mm-hmm. What's the game? Mm-hmm. See how deep you could take mm-hmm. it? <laughs> Listen, I would say you could suck your own microphone if you brought your own microphone. I wouldn't suck that microphone. microphone. Right, exactly. I don't know whose mouth has been on that microphone. Only once. And I'll tell you the truth. It was your dog's. I would not suck my dog's microphone. Oh, man. You know, Thomas, could I, could I... Can we step back for a second? Yes. And can I just confess a few things to you? Girl, oh, I love that. Great. So... Because I'm new to hosting a podcast. Yeah, I get it. I am too. I get this insecurity sometimes Mm -hmm. when I feel like this isn't going the way. What? I don't even have an expectation. Mm -hmm. I don't even have an expectation. Well, you let me know when something's not going the way that you want it to go. Because I'm a host. Hold on. I have to itch my foot. How does that make you feel? Good. Uh, Yeah, I I don't have a stake in that. Um, I learned as the host when I'm hosting mine at the Hollywood Improv. It's called Honestly with Thomas Dale. And where can people check that out? iTunes, Spotify, anywhere you listen to podcasts. <laughs> iHeartRadio. <laughs> if you feel that it's going, you say, okay, good, I'm, done. I'm over it. I'm moving on. You could throw, be a little sassy. Yeah, so That's I appreciate it. the instruction on yeah. that. I, I have read The Room. I can't say that to you because then you're going to tell me to suck my microphone. So I have, no, I have to. You know why it. my you wanted to know my suck the microphone thing was I'm that done. was to have Let's me be done with you kissing it because if I'm not going to the whole time I know I, I I see your little thing that you're doing kissing a mic. There's there's a it's your little your little thing, and I know how to put out glass and fires. Am I come? Am I being unlikable? No, I'm feeling unlikable. You are absolutely sweet and adorable and lovable. And Am anyone... I coming off as aggressive toward you in a way that is... No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to the Alaska trip. Okay. Yeah. We went to Alaska. Yeah. You and I are friends, but we don't know each other well. Right. We're acquaintances. We, I have to assume we have each other's numbers, but we're not calling. At that thing. time, no. You reached out to me. You said, we're doing Alaska together. Blah, 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 blah. Let's do the... I liked you. I loved your enthusiasm. So I, give me a little enthusiasm. I'm on board. You know, you, I'm in. So I was in. I went in for the Glassman ride, and we had a ble- we had a bless. He brought the puppet. We sat on we sat on uh, next to each other on the plane. And I've told you this before, but my moment where I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, mm-hmm. was when the host the the stewardess came over when we were uh, when we were landing, uh-huh. and she told us to put our trays and our seats up. And yeah, I mean, as ridiculous as that is to me, it's like right. yeah, you just do it. You got to do it. And as she walked past, you said loud enough for hear for her to hear, but she didn't hear. So it's the perfect story. <laughs> she, she said, "Will you please put your seats and tray tables up?" And you said, "Don't tell me what to do, honey." <laughs> and it felt authentic. <laughs> of course, it was equal parts yeah. shtick and authenticity. And, and uh, oh, yeah. and that to me is how I how I seen you for a while. And speaking of how be- different people take words differently, mm-hmm. I've said how much I love your shtick, mm-hmm. and you have an issue with the word shtick. Of course, you taught me to like the word shtick. Well, because to me, shtick is fake and it's put on and it's not real, and I hate that. I am never, I never. I know how I'm funny, yes, and I know how to deliver my funny, but it's always genuine. It's never shtick. Like to me, shtick is like. Um, A magician is shtick. <laughs> <laughs> Not the magic, but the frill. Oh, oh just the the cape and the hat and then the, the stick with the white tip, you know, like that. That's all shtick. Um I would say musical comedy, but I you know, I only love one musical comedy. And I'm gonna be dead and we both know it's Jackie. Jackie's the only girl, the only person, comic that I genuinely am like, that's her. Jackie Tone. Yes. I'm like, that's her. That's her thing. I'm into it. Other than Jackie, I hate mu- that shtick, music comedy. What about The Lonely Island? What's that? Really? Andy Samberg, uh, uh, Yorma, and Akiva's? That sounds like shtick to me. It all sounds like shtick. Wow. I don't even know who they are. That's how much shtick is in that. Okay. You know what's fun is that you both admit that you don't know what they are and you're 100% confident it's something you don't like. <laughs> and that, to me, is a great great thing for you to hold on to. <laughs> it's the truth. So what do you think of shtick now? 
Do you still feel of it that way? Well, now I understand the word shtick. Now it's like, oh, that's you mean shtick as your thing. That's your thing. Yeah, to me, that's your 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 growing up in a Jewish household where mm-hmm. everyone has their thing. Right. That and which I love. I love that. Right. Now, now authenticity and shtick aren't mutually exclusive, but mm-hmm. they can be. Some inauthentic. people shtick is or right is inauthentic. Right. Mine. But when you're doing with the hands and the, oh, me, and I'm 100%. telling you this, it's mm-hmm. like it's what it is. Mm-hmm. It is so it, all me. But shtick to me is. If you could write it down, if you could, if 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 I were writing a script and I was introducing mm-hmm. Thomas, and I would say Thomas, mm-hmm. late twenties, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Italian, <laughs> gay, not in that order, it would right, be right, like, right, 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 yeah. oh, I know what the shtick is. You know what I mean? You would also put in like um, extra and loving and 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 and. And warms a room, and yeah, I would love to is see like no one else in the show. Wait, I That's mean, we can say. get to it by the end of the, you know, by episode two or three. You know, yeah. have some character development. I, I feel like when you write when you write your show, your the first the first three fourths of a page is going to be the introduction to your character. Tom Thomas, twenty seven, could play twenty five. Yeah. He could be chubby sometimes, but even yes. then, it's cute. Yeah. his hair is great, but he wears a hat. But yes. that's only because he likes to sell his friends merchandise. You know, it's just like okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's his first line? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello, boys. Yeah. <laughs> loves his mother, Can't, but needs his space. Yeah, loves his yeah. mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, could you actually do that? Let's. Let, I yeah. would love, all right, so write the first page for this for me now. Um, it is it. Uh, this the 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 episode opens up and introduces your character yes. at a Starbucks. Okay. Interior Starbucks. Interior. Of Our Starbucks. hero enters. Thomas, comma. Thomas, I would be. Compl- I would say Thomas, thirty four. Um, uh, loud, loving, boisterous. Um. Quick, witted, <laughs> um, quick witted, and then the longest pause. <laughs> tall, and then that would be it. It wouldn't be too much. I've had, I've written many a treatment in script where my character was described. You know, it was son of a father, son of a son of a of an Italian cop of a from Brooklyn. You know. Are you the son of an Italian cop? Yes, Brooklyn? of course. Tell me about that. Yeah, my dad's a detective in bed Brooklyn. Um, Your parents together? Yep, since seventh grade. Do you have any siblings? Three sisters. Um, the only boy. Youngest? Middle. Middle. I'm, I'm two like older the quintessential or one older? of all of it. Two, one older, two younger. Okay. You have one older sister, mm-hmm. two younger sisters. Mm-hmm. You're in Brooklyn. Yes. Your father's a Well, di- I was born in Queens. My parents were from Brooklyn. Everyone knows this. Yes. My par- my family's from- Everyone knows all of this. Everyone knows you're from Queens. Yes. And then I was raised in Long Island. I was born Queens, yes. Long Island. So I have all of it. Brooklyn, but your father Queens- is still a detective. Um, when I was born, yes. But then he went out on disability because he got like dragged by a car. He like jumped on a car. To they were like stealing the car and they dragged him and tossed him off. And I have the the article, uh, the newspaper article cut out. My cousin sent me and I put it on Instagram when like cops were killing kids. Um, I got this thing and my dad shot out the tires of the car because they came to run him over. And he shot out the tire like instead of killing the kids because they were like sixteen. He shot the tires out and then they arrest. He got the hit the perps. He called them. He arrested them, and he went out on disability. Hurt his back. The car so. A bunch of sixteen-year-old kids stealing a car, mm-hmm. driving towards your dad. Uh, no, they he tried to handcuff them. They j- drove away. My dad jumped on the car. Jumped on the car. Yeah, like like MacGyver. Like, <laughs> okay. Yeah. So he jumps on the car. Mm-hmm. They're swerving to get him off. He's holding yes. on to yes. the side somehow. Mm-hmm. Are they armed? Um, I don't think so. There was nothing in the article that said they were armed, so I don't know. So they swerve, and your dad flies off. They yeah, they kick him, and off. he gets. Hurt. And then they turn around. Yeah, he gets hurt. They turn around to run him over, and he shoots the tires out. Wow! Right, and the tires shoot out. So then they, 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 they this was all witnessed by his partner, who then told that to the reporters, who put it in an article. So the car, they turn around. The car's to- heading toward your dad. Yep. Your dad injured shoots, shoots the, tires. the tires. The car doesn't go to its complete stop. Then it swerves a little. Swerves bit. Swerves a little. Misses him. Yep. And then they they, they stop. arrest the kids. And then your the, your dad's partner sees them because they can't drive away. Holds a gun. Yes. Says on your knees. Yes. Wow. Isn't that incredible? And then I, my, and the best part is my dad never even told us the story. I would tell that story. 
<laughs> every time my kid tried to bitch or complain about anything, I'd be like, oh, yeah? Oh, you gay? <laughs> Imagine two little kids trying to run you over. Wait, what do you mean, oh, you're gay? What like, is- I, here I am crying about my, I, oh, I'm going to kill myself. Oh, I'm getting all this stuff. He's like, really? I shot, I was almost, I shot out tires of a car that I was thrown off of, fag. <laughs> so you, you... I, I'm aware, and maybe we could get to it if you mm-hmm. feel comfortable. Yeah, I'm aware of some some uh, some episodes mm-hmm. that you've had when you were yes. older. But you tried to kill yourself as a kid. Um, no, well, as a kid, when I was like sixth grade, like e- like with extra strength Tylenol. I didn't know. I put on an Alanis Morissette CD. I walked around. Oh no, it was Fiona Apple. She was the one. And I walked around with my little my extra strength Tylenols in my hand. I was in sixth grade and I was going to like overdose and I just played the music and I walked around my room and I just kept looking at the pills. It was like 12 of them. And I remember the only thing that stopped me was my mom was going to get friendlies Reese's peanut butter cup ice cream sundaes. And I didn't, the thought of her finding me on the floor with these melting sundaes, which is her favorite thing. These sundaes <laughs> broke my heart so much that I had to live for her. Since then, <laughs> I mean, imagine that though. What is right? Yeah, I could cry right now. <laughs> so why? It seems like you're minimizing it because it was only I, extra strain Tylenol, well, then but it was I, still the intention behind it. Well, the intention, yeah, I was a kid, but then I, then I, then I had the actual suicide attempt that I told just recently on the story. On Hold on, but, but let's let's stick in sixth, sixth grade for a second. Yeah, yeah. What made you want to do? this? I hated. I was gay, and I was like, "This is." And you knew you were gay. Oh yeah. Were I, you out at, in sixth no, grade? No, I was dating Ale- Alexandra. Was my girlfriend at the time, and. I just was like, how am I going to do this? How am I going to live this life? Were you kissing Alexandra? Of course. I was licking her boobies. In sixth grade. Oh, yeah. I was sucking nipple. Did you enjoy it? No. It was boring to me. Was there anything else? Was there any vaginal or penis touching? Um, I didn't touch any vagina until I was in 12th grade. We'll get to it. Sixth grade. Sixth grade, I was just kissing, making out, um, feeling up. I loved grabbing boobs. Because boobs are guy are g- it was straight. like oh look at me I'm getting boobs but you, there was no sexual stimulation never was there an interest I loved them as people I loved all my girlfriends okay okay so in sixth grade yeah how do you how do you meet this girl you know you're gay oh or yeah you, okay so you know I you, knew I was gay in in Florida why are you saying Florida I don't know the timestamp <laughs> there. I don't know what that means. We moved to Florida for two years for some reason. My dad and my uncle Louie owned a seafood restaurant, and we all moved down there, uh, my family and the Tanazos. And Shout out to the Tanazos. Uh, I love the Tanazos. Teresa, Vinny, Louis, Elizabeth, hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you moved to Florida for a couple years. And Michael, but I didn't really know Michael that much. He was the baby. You go back to Long Island. Yes. Um, wait, hold on. No, 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 no. Where are we? Bring me back. I want to get right to sixth grade when you when you first asked Alexandra out. No, 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 no. I didn't. I told I, you're my. I, we didn't. It wasn't like asking out. I was like, you want to be my girl. You're my girlfriend. Oh, we, so you told her. Well, I, we just. It was. It was known. Okay. Diane, Alexandra, Julie, Stephanie, all these girls. They're all my girlfriends. See, see it's it's hard to navigate through this alpha personality you have. Yeah. What do you mean it was known? You think that, that your known. dog is known? Yeah. It wasn't. <laughs> I didn't know truth <laughs> because you are self-absorbed Thomas, and you were you, not what, listening what you, when we were talking in that conversation. Thomas. Yeah. I didn't know your dog's name. It's done. But we were talking about you never, the dog. I, okay. Do you understand? You said you have to walk your dog and then and, you said I'm bringing truth over later in the conversation. And yeah, I said I'm going to bring truth over to do the podcast with me. There was no capital T. This guy even capitalizes God, probably. Are you one of those? I don't know if I do. You know what I think I do? I think I put an asterisk instead of the O. <laughs> <laughs> you put a heart. <laughs> so sixth grade, sixth it's grade. known somehow <laughs> you were parading around town <laughs> yes, and all yes. your followers were posting pictures of you and Alexandra. <laughs> it's known. It's known. Okay. Yeah. So where does the first kiss happen? The first kiss with Alexandra was in her basement. Okay. Just you two? Just me and her. We would be down there just making out. I was feeling her up. Janae, she was another one. I didn't kiss Janae, though. Janae, 
I got on three three way calling. Remember three way calling? How could I forget? Three way. The only three ways I've ever had. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, I've had some, one or two, but three way calling was fun. I used to. Uh, I would tell Janae. Um, Alexandra was talking about her. I would tell her like things that she was saying, and I would get. I would prove it with three way calling. I would say just stay on the line, and then I would call Alexandra. Oof. So one time. I hung up. I thought we all. Hung. I thought that the third hung up, and I go, "See, I told you," and she was still there. She goes, ah, "I had a feeling you were three-way calling me. You were doing that. I can't believe you." And then hung, and I was like, ah, "I was so bust, busted, manusted." Okay. <laughs> to go from I try to kill myself to busted, manusted in two minutes shows the yeah. wild ride you're living, and I'd like to find more. Yeah, yes. Oh yeah. Come on. So when you come out of the closet, yeah, um, and to whom? I came out to my best friend Mikey um, in twelfth grade uh, because uh, I was went with my girlfriend Diane at the time. She was the captain of the kickline team, which is the dance team, which is the the thing in my high school. Cheerleaders were like kind of like nerds, the and I love nerds. I was a homecoming king. I loved everybody, but the kickline team was like the thing. So obviously, my girlfriend was the captain of the kickline team. We went to one of her convention things, and there was a guy, Aladdin. He was he was in the show. <gasps> Wait, he played Aladdin. He played Aladdin. He was just a hot. Now boy. you've had a you have a thing I uh, I know for yes, Middle, for Eastern, Middle men. Eastern men. There's something he, this about Aladdin them. is a Middle Eastern man. He was maybe it's New York. He might have been Puerto Rican. You know, we don't have many <laughs> Middle Eastern boys in New York. <laughs> you know, and he was smooth and dark, and <gasps> I couldn't take it. I came back and I told Mikey, I go, I go. There was an Aladdin there that was so hot. And he goes, ah, I knew it. And then how did that make you feel? It felt great. I was like, I'm gay. And I've always was. And Mikey has sucked my dick before. Before this, this moment. Yeah. Wait a minute. Or no, maybe it was after I told him I was gay. He sucked my dick. To say I knew it after a dick suck is like eating a piece of pizza and saying I just had pizza and you no. saying I knew it. No, 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 no. Because you, we've sucked straight boys' dicks. Like, that's a thing straight guys do. They hook up with guys. Okay. So, tell me about this. That's a common thing. That's all but I hope. wouldn't up that with. mean that they're not truly straight? No, it means that they're straight doing something gay. Okay. Like, so, when I was hooking up with girls, right? Right. I wasn't straight. I was gay right. doing something straight. Right. But So it's the same now, concept. Now I am I'm I'm, I'm not educated right. in this. So let me uh, allow me to explain my yes. my my understanding. Uh, you can't have the coffee there. I'm sorry. It drives you wild. Um, huh? Yeah, I'd rather suck a dick than have that coffee on the end of the thing. Well, I'm just kidding. So okay. Hold on, my, I'm going to do something. I'm listening, but I want to see if is my hair like can I just do a little cuz my 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 hat yeah, is itching. You got to give a floof. There's a little thing in the front. Great. Oh, it's back. You might floof, give a little hold floof on, again. Hold on, hold on. My hair's not done. I have hat head. All right. Well, while you're fixing your hair. Yeah, I'm listening. So my understanding is the reason you, a homosexual kid, mm -hmm. decided to kiss mm -hmm. and be with a girl was because you felt a sense of shame mm, or that would have been funny. Shame or embarrassment, and until you became came out and were comfortable, of course. Of this is what I, you felt. Yeah, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. That's all I was doing was dating girls because I thought I had. I didn't think coming out was ever going to be an option. Do you understand this? Right. I thought I was going to be married to a woman. So the I used to say to myself, "I'm going to be married, and I'm going to just hook up with guys on the side." Mm -hmm. All it is in my mind because I'm just like uh, I. I was like, it's just a sexual thing. This will. This is. I love girls. I was confused. I liked girls. Right. You know. Um. I just didn't realize they were dickless. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So the reason you uh, the reason you were kissing and hooking up with girls was because you felt you were supposed to. But yeah. conversely, when a when a straight boy mm -hmm. is allowing somebody to uh, another boy to suck his dick, yes, yes, that's not because he thinks. That, that's what society no, wants. No, no, that's no. because he has an urge, correct? No, it, every guy has an urge that, to get his dick sucked. That, but what I'm so saying is... So there are some guys who are straight 
very straight, so they know. So let's establish, in yeah. case people at home don't uh, have, are unaware of this. Yes, there's a thing called the Kinsey scale. Yes, which is a spectrum of of basically what your sexual attraction to. Right. On the far one end is I'm very attracted to men. On the far other side is I'm very attracted to women. Or yeah, or no, one far end. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah tip Whether you're a guy or a girl is in the it's point. One it's one far end is I'm attracted to the same sex. One sure, far end is sure. I'm attracted to the opposite sex. Great. Right. So, um. What what usually is is zero to six it goes zero to six so yeah. somebody who is a zero is attracted to the same sex no the opposite sex thank you right so a zero would be I love boobs if for a guy yeah I love boobs and vagina the only time I like penis is when I'm getting it yanked okay <laughs> no or zero would be if there's a dick in the room I get soft see to me that would be subconsciously not aware of. The fact that you're actually further up on the scale. If I am grossed out. Oh, they get out, scared. Yeah, yeah, I find that when guys are grossed out by gay acts, there's something oh, yes. there's something within them. Right. But at the at the raw level, personally, mm -hmm. whatever the whatever the what, so I guess three would then be bisexual, right? Right, right. So whatever the highest is right before willing to suck a penis, two point nine, that's where I am. I I look at two then no 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 see you're thinking like a zero is like a homophobe someone who's like no no no, no, I'm no. Not, I don't think that here's my thing I think I just look I always play things with like we all do like how would I am right so I look at myself as like a six maybe on or no, people say actually like I'm a five because I've made I make out with girls or I have or I can or um but like if a girl was to blow me i've had girls blow me in high school and, and you stuff. could you could be erect for no that? i had to think of guys but were you able to orgasm if i was thinking of guys yes yeah i don't think so, i could get up i don't think i could do exactly that. right Which, there are some guys who can't even get it up for a dude and hear me out and they're not being homophobic so that would be a zero that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying when i because there are guys who are a one or two or three who i can get hard and make them come when i see blake griffin in a sweater and mm -hmm. i see the way he fills it out in his shoulders when i see lebron's tattooed arms mm -hmm. when he's fucking throwing it down mm -hmm. i'm not sexually aroused right but i can't get my eyes off of it right why what are you thinking about when you see it uh, well i i'll tell you i'm thinking how cool they are but what does that mean right, to right, me right. Yeah, yeah, yeah what i think that means is i grew up not having the few friends I had mm -hmm. were the kids that microwaved s'mores because they weren't allowed outside. Mm -hmm. They weren't the athletes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then I started playing basketball and I wasn't popular, but then I started, people invited me places sometimes. Mm -hmm. And that was cool. Basketball was what cool was to mm -hmm. me because that's where popularity, a taste mm -hmm. of it came from. So I have this attraction to athletes, specifically basketball players, mm -hmm. because I, if that guy liked me, mm -hmm. I'm invited to places. You know what I mean? The cooler the guy was, by association, the cooler I am. Yeah. So when I see cool guys, I need to be friends with them. Right, 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 right. That makes sense for you. Yeah, but it's also like mm -hmm. they look amazing. I had posters right. of Schwarzenegger on my wall, muscles and cool guys. I want to be around them. That's a straight boy thing, because like Schwarzenegger is, I wouldn't even. He probably has such a little dick, I wouldn't even want to be. It's Schwarzenegger, dude. I heard for no, no joke, cock. has like a nine inch dick. Oh really? Dude. I don't know, but well, if I he have didn't, I cry. Nine inch dick, so that's not even like a. Oh my god, that's crazy. So and you have a big dick too. That's, you said it, nine is crazy. Really? Yeah, that's crazy. No, it's not, dude. That's. You no, know why you not. think it's not? Because that's your default. Yeah, nine is just a dick. Like, no, nine is crazy well, huge. All right, I, I, I'm working with. When I push, right, you're a seven, I bet. Oh, when I push, yeah, I'm eight. See, oh, okay, when you push, yeah, I'm a little under eight, but I could get to eight with a push. Okay, and yeah, I'm, no, and I'm I feel that I, I, I'm, I'm an eight, and I get to nine maybe with a push. No one has a one inch push. Oh, push maybe gives I'm eight, you eight and a half. Inch. Then, then I'm eight and a half. That's with a, a, eight, an, a eight and a half. Is, but is what do you mean a push? Percentile. I don't understand a push. When you oh, when you pull when you when you when you put the ruler to the to the when to you the pull skin the, to the pelvic bone. When you pull the bottom part of the ruler to the actual like skin part, like your where yeah, your pubic so, hair would be. Yeah, where the pubic hair is. Yes. If you go, uh, if you give a little push like this, it gives you a little like a almost a quarter yeah, inch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you're holding from the base. Like, like that. You're holding yeah, 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 from yeah, the yeah. Base. Yes, yeah, yeah. And we'll I was be right say, back. You on with Tom. So. Let's go back. Yes. You come out of the closet. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
yeah. I'm free, you feel. Oh my God. Now, when amazing. you came out to Michael, yes. did Mikey. you come out to everybody? What'd you say? Mikey. Mikey, yeah. No, no, no. Mikey, I just came out to for that year. And then um, I would, we would make, I would make him, because um, we had internet. There was the very, very beginning of the internet years. And um, I, but I wouldn't go on the internet for gay porn. That was crazy. You know, my, it was in the office. You know, I hear me. Yeah. Pull it down. Okay. Um, so I would, we would go on these runs. I would drive in Mikey. I would have him go into the candy store and steal um, male magazines. Male magazines. Men, naked men. Playgirl. Magazines. No, Playgirl. Like m fucking po gay porn, not Playgirl. What's the name of a gay porn? I don't remember. It was always just g naked muscle men. That's it. Okay. Okay. He would go in. We would go to different. We would hit different candy stores. I would wait outside. Candy stores are selling gay porn magazines okay magazines he would go get the magazines now mind you we're in high school so anything that could turn me on mm -hmm. you know they he got a book of erotica once this is long island of course they're selling porn in these this is not fucking this is not bel-air rick okay, <laughs> okay? it's okay. like the board of queens in long island is very blue collar okay so you can get gay porn magazine at the local candy store <laughs> oh it's so cute i realized when I left New York, that the rest of the country, you guys are actually just very more innocent beings than we are. Because I realized, I'm like, wow. Do you think that's where you come from or the lifestyle and the friends that no, you have? No, it's where I come from. It's where I come from. Yeah. My thought, I was. Do you think you're, where you come from, just they sell more porn and there's Not more even just they sell more porn. I'm saying where I come from is just a very real place. Like, okay. you know, like, let's, like, um, Again. It seems that you're you're saying that other places are not real. real, not real, no, 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 not real, um, not sheltered, like a like like my dad one time when he was off duty was driving home with my mom who and my aunt was in the back seat and my dad looks at the the gas station he thinks there's a burg robbery going on he pulls over in the side street has my mom you know, in the shotgun and my aunt in the back. And he says, you guys wait here. I'm going to see if there's something going on. He goes into the gas station and l there's a robbery. And my dad, you know, does this whole thing with the, with his gun, with the robbery, Get, gets the perp, he calls them, gets the perp and then drives back home with, on the back uh, en route to the house. Uh, I have a, uh, something I want to say on that. I first, was, go ahead. First, that's amazing. Right. Thank you for your service. Right, 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 yeah. Second, robberies happen all over the place. You happen to live with a dad that's who lived that lifestyle. My family. I'm not saying New York. Well, that's what I was saying. Oh yeah, your, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, yes. your lifestyle and your relationship, yes, as opposed it was to very, geographically like, yes, where you were. Yes, like I was jumped. I was dating this girl, and I was jumped by her boyfriend and his friends. They were kind of crackheads. Jumped, beat, jumped. really beat up. Well, nobody beat me up, but they jumped in my car. I she was ju covering me. They were punching me in the head. They poured like an old English forty over my head, like a beer. Mm -hmm. Hit me with the bottle. But break. I am a bull. Bottle, I'm bottle a Taurus. Break. No, I'm a Taurus. I'm a bull. I'm strong. I'm the out. You can't. There's no try. Come at me. You know. <sighs> you look like a monster, Thomas. <laughs> oh man, the, the, I'll tell you something. The outside might be hard, but the inside seems that it's melting with the ice cream that it doesn't even want to eat. <laughs> Cookie puss. Okay, so my dad came. To, I was asked in the more uh, if I ever want to see these kids again bottom line who are these kids the the ones who jumped me oh they were like we, we could make them disappear so you grew that up kind you, of you grew up feeling safe with your dad of course so how did it feel when you came to him and told him about this about what being uh, gay my understanding I didn't tell him does he still not know of course he knows now i'm saying i think that my mom oh were you, were you scared to tell him because it, it it seems that a lot of a lot of macho men, yeah. especially from that generation, yeah. a detective out of Brooklyn, pinky the, the, ring, yeah. they have a they have there's a the, there used to be and still there used yeah. to be uh, there's a stigma right. against their son not and they feel that there's a certain masculinity that mm -hmm. they won't have right right so you were you maybe felt intimidated how did you feel why did you not tell your dad um well he's a Scorpio and there's not really that easy to to talk to like physically like letters and texting and all that it's we could do, but like talking it's like i don't know you just like he's not it's hard to like talk to him i think so you told your mom i didn't even tell my mom i was going to amda it's a musical theater school in manhattan and i was very depressed i went to i was kind of like this my roommate brought this guy home and i was sleeping 
and it was like a dormitory type of situation and they were like having sex in the next bed next to me and then the guy was like your roommate's so cute and he came over to my bed and he was like trying to kiss me and I was like pushing him away and I was like no I don't want to do this and he kept like pushing himself on me and he like tried to make it he was like sticking his tongue in my mouth and I was like stop it I don't want no leave me alone and he was kind of like really forcing himself on me so I finally got him off me and he went back into the bed next to, to the roommate and they were fucking literally and I just laid there like just so with his saliva on me like just grossed out mm-hmm. I hated it and I just was like I hate I was like I hate gay people and I don't fit in with straight people I don't feel like I belong anywhere because you felt gay meant that that because you didn't have much I didn't experience know I was with 19 yeah I was 19 I didn't really have any experience with gay people I was 18 at that point in that school well Mikey sucked your dick yeah yeah Mikey sucked my dick but that was my best friend since eighth grade. So that's not another. That's not an example of the gay community. That's just your best friend. That's my best friend. We were yeah. I mean that we were ten little Indians together. You Did know? you have an idea of what the gay community was? Did you see it nope. on television? AIDS. That's all. I, Pedro from San Francisco Real World. That's what I saw. <laughs> so you. <laughs> so you're 19. And how do you feel about being gay? It was a curse to me. You don't belong. You said. I said I didn't belong with gay people. I didn't feel in that. No. 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 I didn't feel like I fit with my straight friends because I had all straight friends from Long Island. Because what does that mean? You didn't fit with them because I didn't like girls. I didn't. I wasn't. I didn't like girls. I wasn't. And when you're 19, that's what all you're talking of about. Course. So you can't connect. Yeah. With them. Married one day with to a woman in Long Island. The thing is to have a girlfriend. Get, yeah, you get, get a good job. At get a mortgage. You're married by no. You're married by like 25, 27, and then 21. you're having kids. 21 maybe you're pregnant you're getting rid of the kid somehow little fucking you know <laughs> so you're 19 you're yeah. gay you're you're you don't fit in either way right so i started is, heavily this, doing drugs this is uh this is seven years after you try to kill yourself with advil T- extra tylenol yes yeah, sixth grades eight years maybe and the reason i still t- didn't get wh- why you wanted to do that then that that was still a all right, fine. It was a cry for help. Sure. It was a dramatic attempt at, I think maybe my girlfriend wanted to break up with me, and then I blamed, I always blamed everything on gay. It's because I'm gay she wants to break up with me. It's mm. because I'm uh, I'm feminine that she wants to break up with so me. So you've had this, I'm not good enough. You've had this shame built in oh my from before, God. You even, yes. before you were even yes. aware of what you wanted. Yes, of course. I had the shame the moment I realized I wasn't like my- You are so- I want to say, say it's no, it's a good thing. Okay. Yeah. You are so, whether it's a facade or not, and Mm -hmm. I say that, well, let me say what I'm, it is. Yeah. You are so, this is who I am. Love me or or take it or leave it. Right. Now I know from conversations that we've had that sometimes there's a bit of a front and I'm a bull and this is how I have to sell myself. Mm And Mm -mm. no, I believe, no, I really feel that way about me. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Oh yeah. But what I'm saying is. Okay, that's great. Yeah, I, I I either remember wrong or there's been a change. I just remember we. No, had... You've always perceived me that way. I think. No, no. Uh, we we had a, we've had some conversations. Oh, okay. About some particular people, and there were some insecurities that you've had. Particular people. Yeah, I don't know if it's worth naming names. No, I never name names. But I'm saying like you one texted of, me. You thought one I was of which out... I was in love with. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, and and uh, it just it just the, there's a very very fragile side oh, yes 100 very of very fragile yes. side and that's probably why i've had to build the that's what i'm that's, strong that's personality what I'm saying perhaps i'm, I'm saying of you course. you sell yourself right which is also true yeah, yeah, yeah. as this nobody could hurt me nobody could touch me okay, thing right but it, it, it that's not who you are at no 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 that's not um uh, See, I wouldn't say I would sell myself that way because I've never be I'm never choosing to be a like I'm gonna be like I'm gonna I'm always just being myself, okay? Yes. Right. And and because I am so fragile probably is why I through my life have had to water the side of the strength. Yes. And the you know, that person has always been there. Which when by I the was way, a kid, is your is your is your comedy, is your yes, stick yes. is 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 a win as far yes, as I'm concerned. Of course, thank God for comedy. I've right. always said but I, since I was a kid, we were watching a video of my uh, 10th birthday party, and I'm sitting there, I'm on the floor, I have all my friends sitting around me, it was at some ceramic place, and and I'm shaking the presents. 
I'm like this close. And then there was one that was obviously a baseball bat. It was wrapped. I'm like, oh, I wonder what this is. I'm giving it over. <laughs> then like another box, more clothes. And my girlfriend, Steph, she, uh, you see her shook to my, she goes, I told my mother not to get him clothes. Wait a minute. You have a <laughs> sixth grade girlfriend who's buying you Christmas presents. The mom, the mom, my birthday present, my birthday oh, party, I misunderstood. my birthday party. I know. Yeah. Truth. My birthday party. Yeah. You weren't listening. Okay. Capital T. Oh, you did make it a capital T? No, I'm just saying you would have known that truth was coming had you been actually focused on what I was saying to you, not your next shtick, okay? Just something you should think about as someone who loves you. And it's 2019, I think that we're all on this make ourselves better path. You should just focus, that is something you should work on, okay? It's okay. not about the capital T or the lowercase T. It's about the R. And the R doesn't listen that well. Okay. Okay. Um, and I, and she goes like this to my friend, her friend, I told my mom not to get him clothes. So she like, I was, and this is 10 years old. I was <laughs> moving and grooving and, and I had the whole fucking room on lock. So that's always been my personality. 10 years old is fourth grade. Yeah. You what had a girlfriend it? in fourth grade? I've, I had a girlfriend in second grade, baby. <laughs> that was for you. That's a little right. Wow. All right. <laughs> Rick Glassman. Ch how about this? I had a, we were at a roller rink, second grade. It was maybe my sister's birthday party. And I would pretend I didn't know how to roller skate. So the girls would hold me up. And I had all the pretty girls. And we would, I was And you've been asking dating. people to hold you up ever since. You, will you hold me, Rick? Yeah. I, yeah. I've never asked anyone to hold. I hold myself up. Mm. <laughs> all right. Uh, I want to move this along because I have some, some, some modern day questions. Mm -hmm. When did you say... I'm Thomas, this is who I am, mm -hmm. and I'm happy. Yep. I was 19 years old. I had just moved back from Manhattan. I 19 left. was when this incident happened, the, the, the roommate ki trying to kiss you, which you... 18 was that. 18 was that in, this, in Manhattan. I left that school because um, uh, a friend of mine, I was sleeping in Pam's bed. I was like, I'm done with this. I'm sleeping with you. So I would sleep in Pam's twin bed in her dorm, and she was great. I loved her. And I think she called my mom. Someone called my mom and said, your son's gay. You need to deal with this. He's doing a lot of drugs. He's going down a dark path. I would really, you know. Are you doing real drugs? Um, weed, acid. Um, no, that was it. K, just, ketamine. I was doing K. Just because you put the cadence in a parenthetical, acid doesn't make it less than. <laughs> All right. That's in your spinal fluid for the rest of your life. I only did, well, I didn't even do a lot. I did like a little bit. Okay. okay? Spine, you think I have spinal fluid left? <laughs> I hope. I'm kidding. But I, 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 I worry, trust me, because I did a lot of drugs in the past. Mm -hmm. So I worry about that. Um, what was I saying? You were talking about... Uh, if I look fat in this fucking frame, let me tell you. You were talking, you were 18, and you were staying on Pam's bed. But when I, and this is, you're getting to the moment of when you're like, oh, I'm gay. This is great. I'm going to start fucking people in bushes and okay, doing heroin. <laughs> I want to get, I want to get to that. Okay. Nobody did heroin ever and nobody fucked anyone in bushes. Okay? Oh, I remember the story you told me at Greenblatt's of you driving along uh -huh. and you seen some hiker on the side and you sucked his cock in a bush. Never. I'm going to get this story out of you. Yes. That, well, there's no getting it out of me. Ask me. I'll tell I don't even. We're, Never would I suck any stranger's dick I don't like know that. if they you sucked suck a dick, dick or he sucked your dick, but dicks are being sucked in a bush in on a, a hiking bush. trail. There's no. an app that you have. Yes. And you told me that you were you met some guy. Grinder. You were driving along, like, and, and, and you had to park and walk up because it was like a hiking trail, and you met a guy. You literally met him in a bush. So, <laughs> it blew my mind, this story. You he, before before this story, you're this funny guy I go to Alaska with who who like <laughs> likes to tell it how it is by speaking the lowercase <laughs> truth. And then all of a sudden you're doing you're doing crack and you're sucking a cock. Or get your never cock sucked crack. in a bush. Don't don't no. say that. I don't Let, yeah, be yes, clear yes, to yes. the people. I've Not, never done crack I don't know or what heroin. I don't know what drugs they were, but you were telling me there were some drugs. Oh, was this the Adderall stage? I was going through my Adderall amphetamines, salt and you were snorting it? No. Oh well yeah, I might I have think snorted it. You told me it. you were doing something. I Adderall. Where my little Jewish mind, who I've only smoked pot, Did even I then I like to eat it because I'm scared of the smoke. <laughs> 
smoke. You're snorting pills and you're in a bush getting your cock sucked. How do you? How, how do we I, go I from every hand job I've gotten? Are you forgetting a dick sucking in a bush? Yes. You really don't remember. I remember peeing on someone. Was so let's that start, it? No, but let's start with that. <laughs> no, I'm so kidding. you're 19. I never you're, peed on you're 19. You're scared is, of the guy kissing is, you because I don't want to live this lifestyle. <laughs> Cut to 10 years later. You're pissing on someone on a bush. <laughs> yeah, I grew up. <laughs> yeah, it's about time. Oh, man, I really wanted you to tell this story. It had me rolling. We were at Green Black's. Okay. We I, was, at I was with my buddy David Sullivan. You just yes. met him. We were oh, upstairs. Yes, 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 yes. Now, yes. David's from Texas. He yes. never met a Jewish person until he went to college. Right. He lived, he lived in a conservative place. So he knows gay people now that he's out here, but yeah. he hasn't talked to people who are as flamboyant as you are. Honest. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And you are in the shtick mode. <laughs> you are funny. Yeah, I yeah, snorted yeah, the yeah. Adderall. I'll tell you something. Yeah. I came on all the leads. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you were, I don't know what was real and what wasn't. But I don't remember I was this. Rolling. Yeah. I remember the moment. I remember him. And I remember, but I mean, yeah, it's because I remember David, David looked at me when you went to the bathroom and he said, is he being serious? And I said, yeah, he's the best <laughs> that's crazy he met david even said he met him in a bush yeah probably yeah i'm sure all right you don't remember the bush <laughs> yeah i mean i've lived a wild life rick okay the, you, i've lived a wild life i mean i don't remember every good time, every good time. <laughs> i literally remember every time i've gone down the jurassic park water park slide uh, i have pictures to prove because it. you're an angel amongst eight months devils oh okay all right well, you told me New another angel. story that night uh, w about, and this is when I was first introduced to you, mm -hmm. something we were talking about earlier. You introduced me to that, quoting you, straight boys like to get their dick sucked by guys. They like to get their dick sucked. They and like to suck dick sometimes. And that's something that you're very much into. You look for that. And there was someone you told me you met, mm -hmm. and you told him you want to walk into the house while he's jerking off. Do you remember this? I've done the one where I, I want them to walk into my house Tell while I'm jerking off. That was the Tell one. Tell me this. Yeah. I used to have this fantasy. Get the coaster. I used to have this fantasy. I got it. Where I would, and this was when Craigslist was active. Craigslist doesn't is not active anymore. And I'm also an adult, and I also have a Craigslist career that I'm, work, I'm working on. Craigslist for personal ads, for the sex stuff is done. So this was back in the day. This was when I was on Craigslist. When I used to live in Silver Lake. I used to be, when I was on Chelsea. Chelsea called me out on this, on, on TV. Um... I used to have a fantasy. I would put in there, I'm straight, my girl's gone, I'm going to be jerking off to porn, I'm going to leave the door unlocked, you walk in, don't say this a word. This is what you're telling them. This is this the is, truth. This is what I want. This is the scene I want. Okay. And I'm telling it through text. You walk in, you catch me jerking off, you jerk off with me, and you leave. That's it. And you said you don't even want to know the name. I don't want to know your name. I don't want you to, no touching, no talking, just be done. And that's what we did. And that's what I used to do. I used to live. Oh, it was so hot. <gasps> I loved it. Do you, do you ever fear for your safety? No. Stranger coming in, jerking off, leaving? No, I'm fine. I mean, I don't do it anymore, but. Man, I. I that I, was a time period. I'm so paranoid about giving my address away that I gave my P.O. box to my cousin for the wedding invite. I shred Why? everything. That's insan. That's insanity. That's insanity. Okay, well, take it easy. <laughs> Okay. On you? Uh, no, yeah. it's insane. You should work on that, Rick. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's why I wanted truth here. Thomas. Because I want you to work on that stuff. Thomas. So It's only going to hold you back. I have been working on a lot of specific things. Um, my obsessive compulsive disorder mm -hmm. and some other things I don't Good. want to get into at the moment. Why? You make me get into what I'll be, I, the I'll be happy things to. that I... I'll be happy yeah, to. Yeah, please do. But, but the reason why I don't want to is because I want to be interviewing you. Okay, and, fine. And I don't need to be talking about this stuff at the moment. We why? can get into it. Do it. Because I I, I, I talked about this a little bit on the uh, okay. podcast uh, with my buddy David Finn. Okay. And even then I was thinking, let's... I, 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 okay, fine. You know what I mean? I get it. But you know what it is. Mm -hmm. I, I was diagnosed with autism a couple yes, years yeah, ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. And some new things have been brought to my awareness. Right. And there are things I'm working on at the moment. I love that. Do you know how far down on the list shredding my mail is <laughs> right now <laughs> i had a panic attack when a dog walked into my place you did and i want a dog it was true fear yeah and you want a dog i think you should get a dog first of all because i'm going to tell you right now i want to show you the one i'm, I'm looking at do. on saturday it really has changed my whole life i believe dude. it it has worked i used to be a very hypochondriac person you know that mm -hmm. 
I now, dude, I it's I'm I'll I'll take stuff. Some I still wash my hands before I eat, but like I'll take a like if I have to take medication at night, I'll take it without washing my hands. I'll put it in my hands. The dog has truly worked through. Oh, he's so cute. Seven years old. Let me put this up. <gasps> That's for perfect for you. Yeah, because they'll be housebroken. They let me see. Is that a schnauzer? Oh, <gasps> so cute. I know. I'm going to go look on Saturday. He looks like you, too. Thank you. Oh, my God. So cute. Yeah. I I, I, um, I like the idea of having something to love. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't. That At least, you know, that lives with me. Yeah. And it would force me, one, to stop thinking about myself so much, yes. which could only be healthy. 100%. And two... The action it will literally cause to yeah. have to walk this dog outside, mm -hmm. to have to leave my place yes. more often. Yes, I think will will train my brain into getting in the pattern of a world bigger than what I'm forcing myself to live mm -hmm. in. One hundred percent. It makes you. There are times where I'm depressed and I don't want to get out of my bed. I have to get out of bed because I love him and he needs to pee and shit. Once we get going, I'm up right. and I'm out. There are times, dude, where I'll be out and about and I'm, I want to go do something that probably isn't the best thing for me not like i'm doing anything bad but like say like spend time bullshitting at a comedy club or whatever which is like waste of time mm -hmm. but i'm like no go home first because your dog has to be walked your dog has to be put out you know side so it's brought me to socialize with strangers i when i'm at the dog park i talk to you know i don't really like talking to strangers i'm not into strangers stranger danger i call it mm. i'm not into it now i have friends that i've had strangers from the dog park come to the laugh factory to see shows of mine like i'm friends with these people I follow them on Instagram. Thomas mm -hmm. is one of the funniest stand-up comedians I know. Thank you. Whenever you're on stage mm -hmm. and I'm at the venue, mm -hmm. I go and I watch. Thank you. So check out him. Mm -hmm. Check him out. Thomas uh, Dale 5. Yeah, the, uh, uh, I posted a clip, but it, it was by the time this comes out, it'll be a while ago. Of course. You, yeah. But you're, uh, uh, what's the storytelling show you mm. run? This is not happening on Comedy Central. This is not happening. Just Google this is yeah. not happening, Thomas Dale. Exactly, yeah. It's so fun. Oh, I see something blinking. Is that okay? Imagine if it didn't record this whole time. It's fine. I have the audio. Yeah, that's true. And I am fat, so I wouldn't no, care. It's going. Um, yeah, check out Thomas. Yeah. And no and. No. I just Thomas Dale 5 on that, Instagram. You said people see the Laugh Factory. Yeah. Your your stand up your stand up gets me on an emotional level Aww. because it's so it's so you mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so you and you are so specific uh huh and the things and I say this coming and I mean this I'm coming from the most loving sweet place know, because yeah. we're all humans and we're all imperfect yeah and. There are certain things about you that frustrate me so much. <laughs> Those same qualities and that same point of view that you have on stage mm -hmm. is so funny. <laughs> it's <you>. so funny <laughs> that I wonder how I would see you mm -hmm. if I didn't know your stand up. And oh, that's right. more a testament to yeah. how funny you are on stage right. than it is anything negative off stage. Oh, I agree. Because I, you know, I, I would, I'm sure I would love you either way. But hold on, let me finish yeah. this. But knowing, knowing the eye that you have for the things that you're saying, mm -hmm. knowing when you say something, and me knowing what how you would turn that into a bit, I not taking away from your writing can't mm -hmm. do what you do. Right, right. I could write your set. Right. I could write a <laughs> set for you to do. Yes. And visualize how you will do it, and it will kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah, just, yeah. you will just kill because anything that isn't funny enough, you'll add the. I call it stranger danger. No, you'll right. add your thing. Yeah, my voice. So I've worked at getting the voice, and sure. I have it, and it's you know, and I'm confident at it, and it's you know, thank you for appreciating it and loving it. Of course, I talk um, about your stand up yeah. a lot. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. It's uh, what I do. We all work very hard at it. It's the same thing with you, dude. You're fucking brilliant on stage. Thank you, know? you so like much. People, it's like, that's why I think we connect too because I, but also going back to the point where you're like, what you would think of me, if, I don't really, I had, a, I used to have an issue go, that I didn't even really want to be around people who haven't seen my stand up yet. Like I used to be like, I'm, you know, I, because I, I agree with you. I know what I do on stage and I know that I've worked hard at nailing my voice and figuring out my funny and putting it on stage. So I'm proud of it. 
So now it's so much, so much so that when I meet people, I'm like, come see my set, and then we can continue this friendship. I couldn't be more the opposite. Mm-hmm. When I'm, especially if I'm, uh, uh, if I'm dating a girl or mm-hmm. someone that I, I, we only know each other a little bit, and she wants to come see me do stand up, I, I, th- I, or I think you already, you already like me. Why? Why would I do no, this? No, see me. I want them to see my oh, stand up first. I I yeah. I miss so much on stage. So uh-huh. I fall so hard. <laughs> I think if a girl likes me, I got a double. Why do I need to try another at bat for a grand slam? No, but the when you on stage personally, I think she'll like you better. That's how I see it. Me my stage. Thank you. Me on stage is like my big dick. I can't wait to show you. That you know what? Let me yeah. let me let me let that's, me tell you where I yeah, connect to that's that. How, that I, my value is that as on stage. To me, on stage is, you know, I have before I go on stage. You know, I have a big dick. Mm-hmm. You haven't seen it. Maybe you felt it over the pants. Right, right, right. So now right, I go on stage. Right, right. I pull down my pants, right. and it's a big dick, but right. I can't get hard. I'm not performing right now. Oh, right. What are so you gonna never, think? Yeah. My self worth has been so attached mm-hmm. to how funny I am. Me too, yeah, that yeah. That when I yeah. miss, uh-huh. I have no value. Mm-hmm. So I am I have been terrified of having people come and see I'm a fraud. Mm-hmm. I don't feel that way anymore, both because I'm, I'm, I'm funny. I, I like what I do on right, stage right, right, now. Yeah. Well, you know your voice now. You're, yeah, you're confident. And second, uh, I've since becoming aware of the narrative I've built within myself that mm-hmm. people like me because I'm good at basketball and because I'm funny. Mm-hmm. So if I'm not playing hard or if I'm not being funny, then they don't want me. Right, right, and now right. Now right, I've right. Oh, the amount, the lack of awareness I had in just doing mm-hmm. bits and bits and yeah. bits to to basically gain currency. Oh, right, is disgusting. It's disgusting. I in no like idea. regular life that you. Oh, yeah. right. Hey, every, the, the, yes. The, the hey, look at me. Oh, and my intention right. wasn't look at me. My intention was love. Me. I mean, that's what I'm Care doing is look Care, at me. Give a shit about me. I don't mean it even that deep of a level. Oh, okay. I'm saying the intention for me was. Not look at me because I want you to see me. It's look at me because you haven't seen me yet. Right, right, right. If yeah. I get a big right. laugh and I'm funny, right, I could chill. Right, but you yeah. don't know what I'm worth yet, and mm-hmm. it, it's gotten. It, it used to get in the way, and I'm sure it still does. Mm-hmm. But where, 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 where shredding my mail is at number twenty four. Number That's F3. number one 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 two or three yeah. is Rick. I have it on my door. Don't try. Just be in the moment. They Just, love you for you're you're in the group. Well, you're here's, in the group. here's something I've learned. Yeah. I wrote this down in, uh, I keep a diary. Mm-hmm. I keep a diary. I've written in a diary. There's nine pages right, written. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over four years, I keep a diary. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. With a feather in it. <laughs> <laughs> I, was on, I was in Florida. Like Mr. Belvedere <laughs> at the end of each episode. <laughs> I was in Florida and I had a great set on Friday. Uh, and then Saturday, one of the sets was really bad. Mm-hmm. And I noticed... I, the, the feeling I had, and I wrote down, having a, an amazing set and having a horrible set have the same thing in common. Mm-hmm. Neither one, the feeling after, neither are sustainable. Right, yeah, of course. And if I have a great set, I figured it out, I'm a king, until mm-hmm. I don't do as well. Mm-hmm. So why, what's sustainable? Accepting the fact that this is what it is. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I'm talking too much here. Because I got the coffee in me, I steamroll conversations, and no. I want to make sure that we're having no, a good we're back good. and forth. Yeah, we're good. But I had this. But get to it quicker. I had this <laughs> this this thought that was explained to me in a th- I apparently I don't know if this is in the a Buddhist explained mm-hmm. this to me. Which is, this is what I was thinking, but it was way more efficient. Right. So I'm gonna explain the way she said it to me. The sky is blue. This is your happiness. This is your acceptance. Mm-hmm. Clouds clouds will come. Mm-hmm. And sometimes when you look up and you see the clouds, you're not seeing the blue sky. Right, of course. But the blue sky is still there. Mm-hmm. So if we are aware of the fact that life is going to give us these clouds and accept them, it's a rainy day. Of course, it's a that's dark it. day. It doesn't mean that the blue isn't there. So it's about being the moment. The moment is all you have. So when you're on stage, either bombing or killing, it's the same thing because it's just a moment. It's the moment. But the problem that I had was... Just have fun with I it. I don't mind doing... I bombed more than anybody, yeah, any one of our it. peers. Yeah, yeah, exactly, I don't love yeah. it. I become comfortable in right. it. Right, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's not the bomb that bothers me. It's the fact that if somebody comes and sees mm, me once and I care about their opinion... Oh, eshpet. What is eshpet? That sounds Yiddish. Eshpet means wait in Italian. Okay. Hold on. If I meet a guy outside of comedy, he, I don't want him to come to the show. I want 
I will only date a guy who saw me first in comedy. Okay. You get so, it? Yes. Yeah, I understand oh, what you're saying. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. If, if somebody he saw has me. had to have seen my set online, on TV, or in lo- or so live. So you love a person that's a fan of yours. Yes. Uh, yeah, I can relate yes. to that. And my little sister always says, if someone <laughs> is left, if gets my humor and laughs me, I will love them. There's they nothing are my more favorite. attractive yes, to yes, me than a yes. girl who thinks I'm funny. Yes, exactly, yes. She yes. is beautiful. <laughs> I will give you the world. <laughs> if you get my yes. humor and you laugh at it, I, and that's why also we love each other because we're the same kind. <laughs> that thing that's what most good comics i think are yeah nothing yeah, yeah. nothing will make us <laughs> quieter than somebody complimenting us you speak for me as long as you need as long as it's about me and it's flattering yes i love a person who loves me yes my sister always says she sees oh you she'll be like he loves you because you let you laugh at everything <laughs> she goes he loves you <laughs> i, I, I want to call my mom because yeah. Because I don't remember, I don't know if you've ever met, I've talked to her about you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen her on Instagram. I don't know who's in what order. Right. But you, Jackie uh-huh. Tone, uh-huh. and my mom yes. are my are Fran Drescher. Yes, okay? I love, uh, what, a, what company to be in. I couldn't be prouder. So my mom, my mom has crowns, my mom has crowns, my mom has so many crowns in the house, uh-huh. we look christian does that make sense like crowns like Cra- actual head she's, crowns she's a queen right she's a queen i love it yes and, she is. and i am me yes. and i am this she is that her no oh. she is she is those memes that 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 you know those memes that used to be you know uh what is it uh dr- uh be calm what's the calm meme how does that oh, go oh yeah yeah um like, um, ch- ch- uh, have an enchilada or something like that. What is that? Keep calm. Have Keep a- calm and whatever. But you know they've evolved into like have a glass of tequila, uh, right. put your hair in a bun, and say fuck it and listen to hip hop. Yeah. You know, like whatever those fucking corny ass things are. Yeah, 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 My mom yeah. speaks in those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I gotta tell you something. I, I, I've, I've been eliminating people in my my friends. <laughs> they don't just make me happy. My mom, yeah. my mom lives in a bubble that is herself, and I gotta tell you something. I want to move in. Yeah, the bu- yeah, you got to create your own bubble, Bob. So I want to just the idea that let me hear. You. If if she if if I said to my mom before I said because we're having this conversation and this with this chive on with, chive on well, yes That's yes yeah 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 <laughs> yeah have a burrito and chive on yeah ugh, I hate it with this realization and this lack of awareness I've had I, I've been investigating on sometimes I just can't listen to people mm-hmm. and and I and I. I said to my mom, if 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 the person doesn't feed me, make me laugh, or make me come, mm-hmm. what are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And she lives. I don't know if she lives that way with the orgasm, but she lives this lifestyle so much. I just want to get her on the phone. Yeah, I want to hear to talk with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, us. You could hear. You could hear the ringing. Yes. I always have to actually go the phone, Mama. Darling, um, I have you on the phone. I'm with my friend Thomas. Hi, hi, Thomas. Could you, hi. Could you hear him? Uh huh. Okay. Thomas lives a life that we do, which is if you're not talking about me and if it's not flattering, I'll see you later. <laughs> I agree with you 100, right? Thomas. Yes. And uh-huh. I just wanted to open a dialogue between the two of you because I've wanted you to meet for so long. Yeah, he was telling. And if I remember, what sign you? I remember she was. You said I'm she was a cancer. a cancer. Yes, a cancer. I remember that. Mom, will you just tell tell Thomas uh, uh, at, at random a couple of your life philosophies? Yeah, he he loves the he loves my life philosophies. Yeah. yeah. Well, I have a lot of philosophies, well, but I, we I know. Well, what oh, do you t- oh. what did you do today? What was going on today? What do you got going? You, I had a very very full day. I had a very full day. What are you eating? I'm eating the most delicious, and I'm not really a, a black chocolate liquor, uh, black chocolate, <gasps> not black chocolate, black a black licorice. licorice person. Yeah. But but Trader Joe's, uh-huh. Trader Joe's black licorice threads is beyond drop dead delicious. Shut up. I, you know what? I actually heard that before about Trader Joe's no, black licorice. No, I mean, it's licorice. real. It's really delicious. Kidding. It's like smooth. It's like, cr- it's like a creamy. Ooh. Bulk. It's like, a, it's really delicious. It doesn't so have that, that nasty liqueur taste. Well, I mean, I, I sort of like it, uh, it, it. Yeah, it's just creamier. It's, you sound so mellow. young. She Look, sounds so young. She, she lives so young. Yeah. Well, you, you know why so I young. sound so young? Why? Because I, I, I had a little Botox. <laughs> no, did you, you did not. Where'd you get Swear it? God. Yeah, Swear to God. So she's feeling. You're feeling God. yourself. When did you yes. start doing this? Is this your first time? 
It's my second time, but I love there it. Well, actually, yes, to be honest I with love- you, I do it in I do it in my forehead because it gets rid yes, of migraines, but I'm- it also lifts my eyes up. <sighs> it takes one full week. Oh. So right now I still look like an old rat. But next Tuesday, <laughs> next when Tuesday, I get to, watch out, girls. Yeah. Next Tuesday, when I get to LA, I, I swear to God, I will be staring at myself in the mirror and yes, and yes, and crying. And and fa- and <laughs> crying. <laughs> mom, so mom, you said something that I want to I want to bring up because I feel this is one of your life philosophies. She's uh-huh. telling you this licorice she had is it's the greatest thing for. in the world. So, mom, no, I th- it's not the greatest, but it's fabulous. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's it, had okay. better. So, when I was a kid, I noticed uh-huh. a pattern that that my mom would say. Uh This is the best omelet I've ever had. And then three days later, three days later, it's the best omelet I've ever had. She's enjoying it. To me, the logic didn't make sense. You're telling me that, first of all, the chance of having the best omelet ever at any point is one in however many omelets you've ever had. Mm -hmm. But then the next one. Yeah, you have a good week. What are the chances? Okay, wait a minute. No, mom, 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 please, please, (laughs) please. Let me just explain what I thought and what I think now. Yeah. Uh-huh. I used to not understand it. Either my mom is lying or my mom doesn't understand how good an omelet is. And then uh-huh. as I got older, I realized something. Uh-huh. My mom appreciates yes. life so yes. much that yes. her, her yes. truth is, this is the greatest yes. omelet I've ever... What an amazing world to live in that every yes. omelet you eat is the greatest but of all time. But you see, this is the thing. I every get it. Omelet I get I it. Isn't. Right. Every omelet isn't. But when I say that... I'm having such yes, joy for yes. that moment. That moment, mm-hmm. this is just, this is the, the, the epitome best. of yummy. Yes. I remember, I remember mm-hmm. when we were, when Matthew was living in Seattle for about a minute and we went up there to visit. Matt, and to brother. this yes. day, I could still remember eating eggs that were so delicious mm. and saying, these are the most delicious eggs. And Matthew looked at me like, they're freaking eggs. Uh, how delicious could they be? But they the are, way they were mouth, made, yes. the way mm-hmm. they were grilled, or the way they were made, the way it was on top of my English crusty, mm-hmm. the English muffin that was perfect brown. Yep. That moment, I could still remember, and I've had 8 million eggs since then, mm-hmm. but I remember thinking this, the combination of the air that I'm breathing, oh, the people yes, that I'm I with, I get it. The way, and yes, the thing is to me, the best is, this moment yes. is great. And that's all and we have. Thank God for me, in my head, I mean, there are really not good moments, but yeah. so many moments are so fabulous mm. that I can't see it being better. Mm-hmm. And like you have to eating this licorice it. right now, like here, I'm, I had licorice. a very full day. Okay, tell I us. just came home. Yep. I'm watching Houseboat with Cary Grant and Sophia Loren. Love it. Unbelievable. It's gorgeous out. Yeah. Beautiful weather. I'm eating this creamy, delicious yeah. licorice. I mean, I'm talking to my boy. I'm yes. meeting his friend, yes. who's a boy me. Yes, and yes. He's a girl, you. I'm a, I'm a boy uh, and no, girl, you. I'm a girl. He's the Not boy. A, he's, he's, more, he, he's more a girl than you are, Ma. I'm boy and girl. Oh, well, then he really must be yes. a good girl because yes. I'm a really girl. And, <laughs> and, and I'm thinking to myself, this is a great moment. Yes. Uh, this is delicious licorice. Great movie. Talking to fun guys. Yes. Slash girls. Nice, thank and you. And love loving it. the moment. I love so, you, and this is what this is. What I am the same way. I you have to enjoy moments, moments. because that's all we all have. It is, that's all we have. Yes, you have moments because and uh, getting rid of the humor and all of mm-hmm. that stuff. But truthfully, mm-hmm. you never know no. what the yep. next moment's going to be. Yep, and. When it's another good moment, then you're like, wow, this is great. Enjoy but it. If you don't enjoy this one moment, that's the one thing I can yeah. say that uh, I always say, if my life ends today, I could I could go up and say to um, all my guardian angels mm-hmm. and all my people mm-hmm. and say, I had the Even best that, she has all time. Of course, there's a group. A best time ever because I had so many good yep, moments. Yep. And yep, you are and, me. You know, the, and if, and if you have crappy moments, you have to remember, okay, this is really bad and I'm really sad, but then the wind, you know, pretty yeah. soon it's going to be spring and I can open uh, the windows and I'll hear my wind chimes. Away. And, well, yep. it does, though, it does. but it does go it away. Does. And I always say you have to enjoy, people are like, why are you so, you know, if I... I walk out and I'm like, oh my god, look at these roses! And I'm like, hey, like they like you're like a five year old, and I'm like, the stop and uh, smell yeah, the roses! Not. Yes, stop and smell but the I roses! I've been doing. You have to do it. That's you all got, you have. You know, it sounds corny, but you know, it's like when yes. I walk outside. Tell me. Well, mm-hmm. I've been living in this house. We've been living in this house thirty four years. 35, 35, mm-hmm. 35 years. May will be thirty five years, and 
there isn't, and this is this is the God's truth, and Ricky knows it. Mm-hmm. There isn't a day that I don't walk outside my house, and when I look at it, think I have the cutest yes, house. Yes, I live on the sweetest oval. I have the <laughs> coolest neighbors. I have the biggest yep. trees. They were like little pushki baby yep. nothing trees, and thirty five years, mm-hmm. they're big beautiful trees. I. Love, love it. my house. And I, I never lose sight of the feeling. And I feel sorry for people when I know. They, they become immune to their surroundings. Yep. They become. Just, and, and that's ugh. the truth. If, it, if I could teach people stuff about being kind and being funny, the truth is uh, uh, appreciate the your surroundings. Yep. I mean, I love my I love my house. I love my chair. I love my books. I love my fireplace. I love my shit. Yep. I love my stuff. Me too. I agree. I'm gonna with go that. back to my movie and my licorice and I love you both and goodbye. You're tell, amazing. Tell I can't Danny wait to, to say hello. You. And I want you Bye. yeah, I want you guys to meet when you're here. All right, sweetheart. All right, love, love you both. Bye, Bye, love you. She's Thanks great. for letting me call. She's it, she's she's so she's great. It's 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 amazing. You know what I love about our par- like parents in general. Like I was thinking about my parents the other day. And I was like, like you just obviously your mom was always just a cool girl, right? Same. My my parents were just cool. Like they were like my parents were like the popular people in high school, mm-hmm. and that carried like they're still cool. They're still cool. Like they're adult, they're like pushing seven. They're sixty eight years old, but they're cool. Like yeah. they're just oh and and we're gonna oh, and I realize no matter how old we get we're gonna always be who we are we're like cool people like so so I remember I have a very like I probably would have been friends with your mom if we were the same age if we were younger you you yes definitely you, I, I yes yeah you're gonna be friends with my mom yeah, yeah totally you guys she's great yeah when when I went to college and I started meeting people's parents that weren't from my hometown mm-hmm. I, my, my mom is hysterical my dad is hysterical my yeah. grandma my uncle yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a very yeah, funny family I agree I didn't realize that I just thought moms and dads are funny right right now and then I met all these boring yes, you know yes. they have wooden ducks outside uh-huh. and it's just peace oh, how they're bland how, humans how cool and grateful I yep. am that my parent I have cool funny yes, parents yes how much you we lucked suck. out yep yep we lucked out imagine 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 like talking to your dad and him be like so how was your day today son yeah and it's like yeah. what, what, what? <laughs> but you you wouldn't think what 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 because you would be the same like we are products oh, yeah, of yeah. our parents right we would You'd be, be like, the yeah, same well, Monday, yeah. mondays are rough <laughs> oh my god yes we aren't those people i mean my you know my parents were selling velour velour jumpsuits at the flea market in the 80s yeah. you know like pushing sweaters and it looks like you bought them all <laughs> definitely i mean we have to wrap it we up. We got to go because my dog is home. And, and also, yeah, great. We can leave it at the dog is home. Yeah. Um, but before we go, because I don't want to. What? Uh, I'm just having such a good time with you. Yeah. And I really hope this translates to the podcast because. You're going to have to. I mean, no one wants more than an hour pot- podcast. You're going to have to cut some stuff. I'm not going to do it. You're going to have to. What are we at right now at this point? A buck 30. We're done. We're done. Anyone who has listened for more than an hour is plotting our deaths. Okay. And I don't want them even around. So. This is why I shred my mail. That's it. Shred it up. Wrap it up. Thomasdale5 on Instagram. <laughs> Perfect. Blah, blah, blah.